are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I know that. I know that. Oh, you got to found a story. Look, you I found a story. I found something here, man. <laughs> Eber Metz Kendi's new documentary claims that athletes are literally the new slaves oh. in that woke ESPN documentary. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, so so hey. this is this is fresh right here. I, I just don't get it, man. ESPN gives a little racist this platform. Now he's claiming that athletes are the new slaves. I don't see slaves getting millions of dollars. Do you? I, I've never I've never met a millionaire slave. No, wasn't wasn't ESPN supposed to be getting out of the woke business? Yes. Wasn't that Bob a Iger said he was getting out of that. Look at this. Three minutes in, we get the first Colin Kaepernick reference in this. They use things like um, use their platform, fight for change, speak up, athletic activism, social justice, systemic racism. I mean, my okay. goodness. Okay, so the average salary of the predominantly black NBA is nine point three seven million dollars a year, man? Yeah. And, That's and a hell of a slavery. It, I would like. Wow, I mean the that is so insulting to anything that look at John. Look at John Grant. He's still, still going to get a chunk of that two hundred thirty-one yeah. million dollars. Yeah. He doesn't behave like a fucking street hoodlum that playing around with fucking spud guns and shit like that. Like he, he's still going to get his money. Uh, the China James billionaire. I don't see any billionaire slaves out there, do you? Nets Kendi welcomes acclaimed journalist and author Howard Bryan. We know he's woke. Oh. He did not mention uh, Bryan's past history of violence. That's interesting since the show used a LeBron James clip in an earlier uh, Vinick asking people to end the violence. Oh, the irony. Uh, Bryan drops the gym. You pay a price for being black in America. There's no question about it. I'm sorry. I'm black. What, what price? price am I? What, what price am I pl uh, paying? Uh, These, John, John, is there a special tax that you pay? I don't know about. No, no. Really? No. Okay. I, I didn't think so, but I wanted to clarify. Oh, Gwen Berry. You remember this from the 2020 Olympics, right? Gwen yeah, Berry? Yeah, you remember, yeah. Okay, let's see here. But then comes the biggest bombshell of the entire episode and is delivered by Barry. She's actually in that? Barry gained attention when she raised her fist during the national uh, anthem at the winning uh, gold at the 2019 Pan American Games. We covered She said this. at the time that she did it to represent those who died due to systemic racism. She did not give examples of people dying from <laughs> dying from systemic racism. In the conversation with Kendi and Brian, Barry claimed that athletic contracts are the new slave chains. <laughs> what? Wow. What? Oh my God. The new slave chains. Athletes are lit. Athletes are literally the new slaves, she continues, because we need this. Our family, our friends depend on this contract to eat. What? It's called life. Don't we actually have an NBA player making $50 million this upcoming season? Yes. I, I think so. Uh, Black well, guy, right? LeBron, look, LeBron James just, I believe it was last year, crossed the billion-dollar mark. Billion yeah. with a damn B on the front. I mean, I and he'll I'm, continue to make money for the rest of his life as well. Oh, we got a clip here of it. Let's check it out. It's almost like the contracts, you know, are the new slave chains, right? So, you know, you have to sign this contract and sign this document and sign this document. It's like you're binded to this. And then if you break that, that's your livelihood. That's your life. 
So we the new slaves. Athletes are literally the new slaves because we need this. Our families, our friends depend on this contract to eat. You got to be shitting me, man. Oh, okay. So I worked corporate forever. We had people sign agreements and contracts all the time in order to remain employed. It was called, you know, like a, a an agreement, a policy, a corporate policy agreement, blah, blah, blah. You know what we did? We gave those contracts to everybody, whether they were white or yellow or polka dotted or black or yeah. it did not it's matter. Right, right. It's p- called employment. And this has been happening as you're all it is, is an acknowledgement that you are going to follow through with the agreement to do said job. That does not make anybody slave drivers out there for crying out loud. They're looking for a commitment because they're putting a monetary backing behind you as an employee or an athlete. They're spending money on you in order for you to try to make money back. And yes, it's called business. It's called capitalism. It's the way the world works. This is the same. This is the same intellect as well, being on time for work is racist, right? We've heard that. That's the same kind of thought process that's going into this. It's no, I mean, it's called being responsible in order to, contribute to society, contribute to your family, run a good household. And I'm going to be honest here. This kind of thought process is poisonous to the black community. It's dangerous, man. It is poisonous to the black community. You you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, man. You're going to have some woke athlete, could be a great athlete. It's time for them to get paid. Let's just say that um, the team offers um, five-year... $100 $100 million contract, that woke athlete is going to go out there. They're going to say, hey, th- this owner thinks I'm a slave paying me that kind of money. They're going to come out with the oppression Olympics on that. I want $200 million. They offer me $100 million. They think I'm a slave. This white owner thinks I'm a slave. That's, this is dangerous stuff, man. Can you imagine what an actual slave's response would be to something like this if if they understood the I context bet that, of what I was going I on bet in today's society? To be falling right now, it, I yeah. bet they'd be absolutely fucking raped over that. And, when and, Barry and, got to go to the Olympics, she she was not forced to go to the Olympics. She wanted to go to the Olympics. She decided to be an Olympian. Nobody forced her. To be, uh, what is she a um, hammer throw? What are they called? A what? Hammer throw? Yeah, hammer yeah. Throw. Hammer throw. Nobody forced into that, did they? No. no, no. But a slave in a cotton field was forced into that cotton field for no money. For no money. For no money. And yeah, if you ran off, they did. killed you after hunting you down. And if they That's... didn't kill you. They cut your foot off. They might get injured on the football field or anything like that, but nothing compared to the emotional abuse, the racist abuse that these slaves are used to get and all that. Like that, there was white slaves as well. Yeah, uh, Irish. Anybody? Yeah, yeah. we talked I about mean, the Irish. Red before. hair. You see this red hair? That's yeah. that's. Oh my. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.